Jordy Cano line. Yeah! Wait, nobody cares about those. That's just an old van. <laughs> no, I'm driving a 2003. Uh, it's got the 7.3 liter diesel power stroke. This thing's got 305,000 miles on it. And uh, why am I telling you about it? Because I love this thing. <laughs> I bought it about a year ago. Uh, for us to be able to tow, uh, you know, a car trailer, and you can put a lot of stuff in the back. Uh, and I was just looking for a cheap vehicle to get that can tow, you know, up to 10,000 pounds. It, it has a great frame, good brakes, and everything, and uh, you put stuff in the back, you tow cars, up to two cars on a two-car towing trailer, you know, around some racetracks and stuff. So that was kind of the purpose of getting it. And uh, right now. Uh, one reason I like it so much and I'm able to live with it almost be my daily driver is two big reasons. Uh, first reason, uh, you know, driving from Atlanta to Birmingham, I'm averaging 18 to 20 miles per gallon. This thing has no tuner on it. It's bone stock, uh, bone stock air filter, all that stuff. But yeah, I, I mean, you know, I can get 410 miles to 22 gallons. And that's some in town driving too, not just highway. Uh, so anyway, the other, the second thing is going to be cruise control, which almost none of these came with because it's just a work van, right? So uh, I've looked on the internet and Facebook groups and found out how to put cruise control in this thing. Uh, basically, go to the junkyard, find a Ford F-150 or any steering wheel from that rear van has a cruise control button. You gotta get the clock screen, goes to the steering wheel, and a couple of other things like a, a mine had to have a, a relay put in it and had to uh, hook up some wires. Anyway, got it working, and I mean, this thing is amazing with cruise control because I mean, I can hook up a trailer with up to two, you know, up to 10,000 pounds, and I've got like a Bluetooth uh, trailer brake controller. I'll maybe say something about that later, but I basically can set that on my phone with the trailer brakes just set the cruise and tow, believe it or not, this thing still gets between like 12 and 15 miles per gallon, towing 10,000 pounds. Um, and that's just crazy to me. Now, uh, maybe a downside to it, pay 2,500 bucks for it, I've got about 10,000 in this thing. So I took it to a decent performance shop. I made them, I, let, I asked them to go through this thing and just fix everything that might go wrong with it. And that was wrong with it at the time. So it's had all the suspension done, shocks, uh, ball joints, the whole nine yards, uh, new rotors, new pads. I put racing high temp brake fluid in it just because it's a new group. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, they put a high pressure and low pressure oil pump in it, had the fuel tank taken out, all the stuff taken out of it, and uh, cleaned and everything put back together. So I've got some money invested in it. You know, it's about $10,000 after buying it and doing all that. But, thing has been super reliable, no oil leaks, no issues whatsoever. Put two new batteries in it too. And I mean, it's a great, uh, you know, if you need something for towing and you put a lot of stuff in the back, uh, it's it's fantastic. I mean, I don't know what other vehicle that, that you can do like this right now for that kind of money. So anyway, just some thoughts. <laughs> some people may think this is dumb, but I think this van is very useful if you're looking for something to do all those things. You know? Um, and the stereo is not bad in it. The heater works great. The AC was working good. I need to get the I need compressor in that, that place one more time. So. Uh, but I've got an Alpine head unit that's Bluetooth. Uh, I've got a little thing up here I can talk to people wireless. So, um, you know, this thing works really well and I'm really happy with it. So, uh, there you go. See you later.